So this is it, huh? Yeah, this is the dude, man, the 66 Chevy 2. I know you like slick rides, so this is one slick ride. OK, yeah, it's definitely cool, man. How long you had it? I've had it a few weeks. Have some fun with it, and now I'm thinking about doing a new project. OK, so you bought it, and then you didn't like it, so now you want to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> I came down to discuss the selling of Chevy 2. It's a Pro Street muscle car, Corvette motor. The reason I wanted to sell it, because I have another project in mind. The lease I would take with 40000 I mean, it's badass. I mean, it's just classic evolution of cars in the 1960s, you know what I mean? It's American muscle, man. This is the car you just get in it and smash the gas. <laughs> Interesting to note, this car was to replace the Corvair. So Ford comes out with the Ford Falcon, which is a little tiny car, a compact for those days, and then they start, sales start to slump for Corvair, and so they launch the Chevy 2. This car is a 1966 Chevy 2. It's a pretty cool little pro touring car. Guy's got a lot of work done to it. I figured, pretty cool car. Rick might be interested. The paint job is great. The body work on this thing is great. It all matches. It all flows together. Do you mind if I pop the hood open? Be my guest. It's an LS1 motor. Holy That looks good. That, that Corvette motor sure does look good this grandma's car. That's a big wow factor right there. You can tell the guy did a lot of attention to detail on it, you know? Getting that motor to fit in there right looks like it was done right. My buddy had one of these things when I was young, and we were embarrassed to be in it, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I don't think you'd be embarrassed today, though. Yeah. <laughs> this okay. one's got a little more street attitude to it. OK, you mind if I look inside? Please. Yeah, I like the seats a lot, man. Definitely a different dash. <laughs> Yeah, this is right out of Knight Rider. <laughs> <laughs> this Chevy 2 is pretty cool, and I love the work that was done to it. This car with a Corvette motor will haul ass. The look of the car is great, but did you change the rear end? The rear end is uh, it's, it's totally stopped. 66 rear end with a yes. with an LS1. Yes. We call that a grenade. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, <laughs> that rear end was designed to handle 125 horsepower, not Absolutely. Three, three or 400. I think you're pushing. These were about 90 horsepower, I think. When they were... <laughs> as, long, as long as you don't take it over the limit, you'll be fine. But you've got to do a burnout every once in a while. You've got to look cool for <laughs> every day. You know what I mean? Every day. If you do this on this car, the entire rear end will fold up and implode. Um, I really like it, but I think I'd have a hard time selling it. I mean, what do you want for it? I would think 40000 You know, I, I don't mean to beat you up. I'd give you like fifteen grand for it because it's a project that's not done in my eyes. Yeah, this will be a fun project car. Well, it'd be a great project, but right now I ain't got the time for a project. You know, I mean, what is your best price? My best price would be forty. Forty might be a decent price for someone who wanted to keep it. Mm -hmm. But it's not done. It's going to be $5,000 to redo the rear end. Yeah. <sighs> I can't do 40. I can't do 40. There's. OK. I... Sorry, we couldn't do business, man. Thanks. All right, well, thanks for giving me a call, man. No problem, brother. Thanks, man. It's definitely Rick's loss. He has some good points, though, about the rear end and the things that need to be upgraded. So I respect that. But he will never get a 15,000. <laughs> <laughs>